<laughs> you want to go pick her up? Should we go pick up Lucy? Should we call and say we don't want the puppy anymore? Or should we go get her? It's a puppy day! It's 8 in the morning. We're in the hotel in New York and we're gonna go pick up our puppy this morning. Today is puppy day! Why is it puppy day? These are going to pick up our puppy! Here's the drive. We're almost to the puppy place. Puppy, 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 puppy! puppy. <laughs> so when Ryan and I first started talking about the idea of this new move and this new house and the new farm and the idea of having a property with land and having a place where we could spread out, of course, one of the first animals that we started talking about getting was a dog. We are both dog people, we both love having a dog as a pet. It just doesn't really make sense in an apartment. And uh, we had a dog when we lived in Egypt, so Quincy actually spent his first year with the Golden Retriever in the house, but when we were moving to Moscow, it didn't make sense to try and bring a dog to the apartment that we were going to be living in, because we lived in kind of like a villa, a house, a little yard when we lived in Egypt. Um, and we ended up uh, finding friends who were, were willing to take her, and that was sad to lose her, but at the same time, it, it made the most sense. We didn't want to take a dog to a place where they were going to be sitting in an apartment all day. So, I didn't think that we would get a dog right away. And I certainly didn't think that a dog was going to be the very first animal that we would get on our property. But as I started looking, um, we knew which breed we wanted. We knew that we wanted an Australian Shepherd. And it turns out that they're, they're hard to get. Um, and we just happened to be moving here right about the time that a lot of litters were being born and, and puppies were becoming available. So if we wanted to be able to get an Australian Shepherd, which was the dog that we wanted, we had a choice. We could either get one now or we could wait at least six months, possibly even another year to get a dog. And perhaps that might have been the smarter choice. Maybe, maybe uh, things would be a little bit easier if we, uh, if we had waited. But at the same time, you know, we want the kids to enjoy this experience. We want to enjoy this experience. And a dog really does kind of bring a home together. It makes it feel like something more, something more cohesive. There's just something that a dog adds to the picture. So we gathered up all the necessary materials, everything you need to get started with a new puppy. We got a travel crate, some puppy pads, some little friends to keep her company, some stuff to chew on. A collar and leash for when we needed to take her for potty breaks. and a little present for the breeder. Now, I know that this is gonna be an area of big contention for a lot of people. I totally get the whole adopt, don't buy philosophy, but there were two big areas that really held us back from adopting as opposed to buying a specific breed. I'm actually really interested in animal husbandry and the idea of learning about a breed of animal so that you can improve its genetics and create the best version of that animal possible. But the biggest, most important reason behind our decision was these kids. Our kids are not used to animals and Rowan especially is very, very scared of dogs. You just never know the history of a dog that's being adopted. Even if it's a little baby puppy, there's such a chance for a traumatic history and that could lead to behaviors that could be scary for our kids. So I really respect the option to adopt instead of buy, but we chose to go with a responsible breeder instead. 
And you, my Barbie too. Are you gonna pet our puppy today? You're still feeling a little nervous? And is that okay? Yeah. yeah, it's okay to feel a little bit nervous. I'm just gonna take our time with her, right? Yep. Are you gonna talk to her? Uh, yeah. And are you gonna tell her what a good, sweet girl she is? Yeah, and I'm gonna play with her. <laughs> you are? You're gonna play with her? Yeah. Hooray! We're on our way to pick up our new puppy. And, and, and I'm so excited! <laughs> You're so excited. <laughs> And it feels like the second time in the last couple of weeks where I've got butterflies in my stomach and I'm a little bit nervous. And butterflies in your stomach? Yeah, I've got butterflies in my belly, just like the whale. And this time it isn't because it's all completely unknown. I mean, I've, I've had the puppy before. I know what to expect. I, I know that I love dogs. I know it's going to be fine. I think it's just, it's another step down the road of, not being able to turn back for all these big changes that we're going through because you know a puppy is a lifetime commitment and there's no way that we would get a puppy and, and not take care of it so it it does feel like a big step it feels like a big commitment it does feel like a, a huge step away from we can't just turn around and go back to the international world again I mean we're here we're we got we got a dog now and I'm driving over horse poop. Before we knew it, we were headed up that long driveway to meet our new puppy, and we'd like to introduce you to her. Welcome to the family, Lucy. There were lots of new things for her to explore as she joined us for the long drive home. But she did a great job. She whined a little bit, but Rowan did an awesome job calming her down and comforting her and telling her that everything was going to be okay. I think that helped solidify their friendship. And before you knew it, Rowan was on the ground too, petting her and loving on her. She is sweet and fluffy and loves to snuggle and be wherever we are in the house. We're definitely dealing with all the things you deal with when you get a new puppy like accidents, whining, a little bit of confusion about what's going on. But she's also showing the standard of her breed and she's so smart and picking up things really, really quickly. I can't wait to see how the kids are going to grow and learn how to take care of something and how to treasure life a little bit more through the eyes of this beautiful little puppy. Welcome to the family, Lucy. We're so excited to have you as part of the group. And I know that there's going to be a lot of fun antics in the future to share with everyone. Next week, we have a lot of fun things to share with you. Make sure you check back in for some wasp stings, some old friends visiting, and maybe we'll finally get the hay in. See you next week on a farm of our own. Bye.